Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everyone in between, welcome back to Deponia. Oh, we're trying to get off of Deponia now, actually. A little look at the wee seer guy, so... Yeah, he's here. I can't remember what was happening. We stole his toothpaste. Pepper and salt shaker. Scor a scork screw? Cork screw? Room key number five. That's where we are. We've still got to find it. Find out where the guys are. And a pillowcase. The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many head lights can't be wrong. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Room five. The rat's nest. Amusing. They give their rooms names. Huh. We can give hey, somebody head lace. Advance along a circuitous route to the core of the problem, and then <laughs> problem solved. Very impressive. I never knew that salt could get moldy. Hmm. I don't need to turn down that snack. background music. At least twenty percent pepper. Also try Doctor Queasy's reptile chew. Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Hey, that's the same brand I used as a kid to fake having a fever. Huh. Says here, Dentosaurus toothpaste is a chemical waste product and not suitable for internal use. Possible side effects. Fever, sweaty feet, permanent loss of the awareness of danger. <laughs> Under no circumstances may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed with rug cleaner because dangerous chloroform gas may develop. <laughs> Wow, I should read hazard warnings more often. I actually thought toothpaste was useless. Right, there we have it. So we got to mix that with rug cleaner. We'll find that somewhere. I wonder if it's in the closet where we got the, the pillowcase from. Before we go any further, let's just take a look at the settings. That's better. I mean, it's all good to have... Ooh, I see an invitation for a fabulous prank. <laughs> I'm already laughing myself silly. <laughs> what can we put in there? We could put... We could put the toothpaste in there or some pe uh, pepper. Some pepper? <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. I don't. I hate your pranks with the ambiguity. It'll be something daft like, can we put the tarantula in there? Can I have your hey, tarantula? Leave Mr. Toffee alone. Okay. Well, we will find a way to get you away from Mr. Toffee. Alright, so we checked. We checked the closet. Get out. Rufus, get out of there. What have I found? I am the greatest. You are? Okay. Let's have a look at the, the room. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop! Too late. Who is that? Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet. Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find release. I'm not a ghost, and it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. Well, I'm not actually from room service. I, in fact, yes, I am. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes. But... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. 
That's crazy. Okay, pick them up. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And... Aha! Uh -huh, this isn't a shard, it's a knife! Ouch! Is there anything going on around here? Got the window that we can go out of. We got the peephole. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? You really can't, can you, buddy? Okay, let's talk to the uh, ghost again. Before I go, oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Why do you even need a room room service if you're a ghost? Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet. Huh, sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh... Uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Oh, yeah? Well, what's yours? All right. What's your guilty secret then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter. Rubbish. Look he's at a, where I am. He's a peeper. In a dark hotel room. Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sing in the shower. <laughs> I don't have a guilty secret. What was your guilty secret? So we need to get somebody to sing in the shower. Guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Can I please just turn the light on? Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame! Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. That's a nice sheet you've got there. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet! Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. How can we get that sheet? We must need it for something. Okay, I'm well, I was just, just leaving. leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Boo! Oh. Oh, that's better. Hey, stay by the door. I thought I was supposed to- Yes! Hey. Why would a ghost need a fish knife? You've not figured it out, have you, Rufus? No, Rufus, man. Locked. Bozo? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. <laughs> it fits. They just weren't letting me in, were they? Scumbags. Huh. Locked. Bozo? No answer. They're definitely in here. There you are. Bozo, what are you and, doing? Wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And, uh, what does one do with a, uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. 
But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know, remerging the aspects of her character. Yes? Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? Uh, for the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Eh, almost? What do you mean, almost? Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting. Right? N not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And... Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, this calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Ha, huh, for beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Rufus, I don't want to be the bringer of bad news, but... I think they just want to get rid of you, bud. Pozo, hey, Bozo, put some clothes on. Old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was going to say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you, better get you don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Wasn't that awesome before what I'd done? The thing? Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Ah, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. Oh, he's angry. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile, Bozo. Bozo will beat the shit out of you, Rufus. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, oh, it's not the end of the world. The world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression too. So, we need to get him something to eat? Don't you think you should get dressed? Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? Because your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. No, no, don't. Oh, no. Oh, that was a shit. <laughs> don't look, Rufus. Look Especially the other way. You do that thing with your legs. Oh, basic instinct. Oh, dear. You know, there is a... Uh, wait, I need you to... Yeah, I need your towel. I need your towel to shower. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, no don't. You oh. just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes. <laughs> uh, you're not cold? You must be freezing. Not really. There's a draft in the holes in the window. But the putrid air from the heater balances it out. 
What if the heater goes out? Why don't you just tell me what you're planning? Then you won't have to constantly come up with some crazy scheme. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, where's the kick? Where's the challenge? I'm telling you, you're going to catch the whooping pox. I'm telling you, you're going to catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. There we go, we got to infect him with the whipping pox somehow. What was it? Cough? Fever? Something? Cough? Fever? Oh man. I'm telling you, Let's see what it is again. I would have a blue tongue. Blue tongue, cough, cough sniffles, sniffles and fever. Do whatever you want, whatever. sucker. Okay. Hey, no, not that. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh, anything Blech. but that! <laughs> Come on, please, just get dressed. Relieve me of the sight. Didn't you just say you were hungry? Sorry, I got to uh, go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. Ugh, my eyes are smarting already. Ugh. Okay, so this... This toothpaste tooth does most of that stuff, right? Side effects. Fever under no circumstances. Fever, sweating, blah blah blah. Can we give him the toothpaste? He's already done his thing. Much too clean for a pirate. Okay, what we got going on here? Doc, can I just borrow this bag? I've seen a bag like that somewhere else. May I borrow your bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. Hey, we'll take the screwdriver, I think. A one-third screwdriver. How handy. I never fasten screws by more than one-third because at some point they fall out by themselves. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. Yeah, I Doc. Said, hands off. All right, all right. Hmm. Doc, I need it. Can I just borrow it, please? Hey, Doc. <sighs> For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, and... Oh dear, that is gross. Uh, what am I supposed to get again? We know what we got to get. I have to go. You've kept me from my vital... The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. He really wants to get rid of his. She's unconscious again, but this time it's part of the plan. I'll save you, and then it's off to Elysium. Oh, we got an intercom. With this, you can get a connection to the reception desk and small blisters in the corner of your mouth. Blister team. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Uh, please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well, that's different then. What's your room number? Uh, five. Room five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? I'd like to eat something, please. Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have plasma exchange whoop de doop mammoth fur, really? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hmm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you 
caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Yep. I'd like to eat something, please. I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? I guess we have to go get a menu. And I would like some fresh towels, please. We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Mm, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come. Provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Wait, who? Where? Right, I'll be gone, guys. I know you want me out of here. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo Alright. Well, you guys will be shocked when I find the old whoop de doo Mammoth fur. Didgeridoo. Pokery pokery. I'm gonna go down this way first. Hi, vending machine. There we go. We can get him something to eat. We just need some money. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. Wow, with a fun slime troll and one out of every five pies. Rad. And all these years, I thought they weren't allowed to make these anymore. Who needs change? Okay, so we Ouch. we definitely need the change. Whoops. Going on here. The heater? The red modules are set to heat. But that's such a waste of energy. Let's see if I can turn them off. Oh, that flipped it. Okay. And then you. And then you. And then the middle. Done. Sweet. <laughs> Did it. Rufus one, entropy zero. Well, he won't be happy anymore, will he? We, we managed to turn off the heating in the hotel. Old drippy pipes. Oh, there's a leak up there. Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. It's coming round here. Who's in the trash bin? What are you doing in there? What were they thinking? Putting a dumpster for fish guts right under the guest rooms. When there's a perfect balcony to throw stuff over. Wait, is that a fish knife? Give me the fish guts. You can find the craziest stuff in the trash. Oh! Psycho! Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. Kill it. The last thing that's missing here is table manners. What are we supposed to do uh, with that? May I? Hmm. My goodness. Pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stuff your big mouth. Ah, right, okay. What are we going to stuff it with? Some shot. Some salt? Some salt? You want some salt, buddy? Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little. One way to do it. Don't mention it. What did we use? Did we use the salt? We did use the salt. Can I get that little fish? There is a fish in your mouth, buddy. Oh, it's because we spaced his, spaced his mouth up. He's getting a drink. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. He's eating what? The fish? Give me it. Corkscrew the pelican. 
Excuse me, I would never hurt a helpless animal. Well, I never. No animals will be harmed during the production of Deponia 3. Hmm. So we need that fish somehow. We gotta go back upstairs, get a menu to the reception, to the cruiser route. There's something back there that we're still not being to, but we're gonna go up the reception. Oh, oh. Cletus! Oh, that's the last thing I need. Hade, Hade. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange with the do mammoth fur read, eh? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. So here you got room one. The service here. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for goal. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Yes, you do. And there's also the bag, so can we just steal it? We switch bags? Hmm. If I just take it, Oppenbot will notice and sound the alarm. What's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. Is that a bag full of money? Uh, I'm curious. Mm, rare porcelain. Crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Ah, uh -huh. money. So we've got a bunch of paper money. Very nice. Uh, the coffee maker. I don't think we looked at before. Nothing else. Where's the menu? He said there was menus somewhere. I usually take my coffee black, but it only seems to come in grey-green here. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> uh, there actually was something left in there. <laughs> dust! <laughs> well, the dust is going to give us a cough. So between the toothpaste and the dust, we've got Dentosaurus possible side effect. Uh, fever. Fever. Sweaty feet. <laughs> so we've got the fever, the cough. Hmm. Can we use anything on the nut? That would work. Not. That would work. You slime ball. What am I doing? There's nothing but broken stuff in here. And now that I took his money, that's what he is. Broke. Okay, let's switch it back. Weak. Where's the menus at? stressed out and I haven't even started I like his work attitude it's fashionable comfortable and keeps your head warm I better stay undercover oh man so we need to we need to dress up his clears where's the bloody menus this guy wanted toilet paper we're seeing a load of eggs everywhere as well. Oh, platypus eggs. There's one. You still need toilet paper, buddy? Occupied. Uh. Oh, come on. You can't stay in there forever. I most certainly can. 
I have a time machine. Use this on your butt. It's not yeah, ours. This should work. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha! Huh. Thank you. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, ho, oh, stop. Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. I oh, actually did give me change. That's pretty cool. Huh. I always thought the five zloty coin had been taken out of circulation because it doesn't fit in any of the vending machines. And uh, it leaves scars when little kids stick it up their nose. Ah, but that old vending machine, the pie, that'll take it. So now we can get me his pie. Let's take the toilet paper. Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, that really is a wow. That even that was great. Okay, so we got toilet paper. What's what in the bowl? What am I supposed to do? Look in the toilet bowl? Yep. Ugh, he didn't even flush. That's gross. Well, you flush then. Holy junk! The flush isn't working right! There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. Well, we know there's a leak up there. And, oh, this little guy's drinking it. So we got the time traveller out the toilet. We have the coin for the pie. Let's go get the pie. I'm guessing that's what the coin's for. Ah, oh, rats! The coin is too big! What good is small change if it isn't small enough? Oh, I get it. Sand it down because it's got rough edges. That really is a bit rough. Maybe... It worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humour. Now we've got an abraded coin. Ching ching! Got yeah, himself a nice big old pie. Money changing has made me really hungry. I think I'll let Bozo go first. Oh, that's quite nice of you. According to the expiration date, this pie is still somewhat edible. Okay, and then we'll just go up and give that to Bozo. Bozo, I got you a pie. You want it? He's freezing the poor guy. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. Thanks. I'm sick with hunger. You know, blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Looks like whooping pox. You should have put on your clothes, like I told you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With some pie in my stomach, things will look completely different. Well, can I have the pie now? Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. What? Who's it not? According to the expiration, assuming I'm correctly interpreting this pictogram of a hunter killing a mammoth. Oh, I think I know. We've got to add the stuff to the pie to make him get whipping pox. Icing on the pie. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. And then that'll make him cough. And here we have a very special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> Eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk-averse cooks. And now enjoy your pie. What have you got there? Something to eat. A pie? I'm sick with, you know, looks like whooping pie. You should have put on your clothes. Should have. With some pie in my... Well, can I... Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Wait. What are we missing? We're missing something. The blue tongue? Maybe... Maybe we get the blue tongue from over here. Hey, what's going on here? 
Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a, uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 bow, baby. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, kumbaya. No. Darn. As Bozo's suit, let's take me suit back. Wow. Freshly washed. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Guys, do you mind? Oh, that's Cletus's clothes down there. Kinda just need to get down there if you don't mind. Those are Cletus's clothes. For all I care, they can rot in there. On the other hand, they could be useful. Yeah, we need them. Go get them. I can't get at it that way. First, I have to get the washing machine running again, if that sauna club will let me. That's pretty huge, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. How do we get the washing machine running? That's pretty huge, considering there isn't... So there's these symbols, it's like a swirly, a pie... Little face, an egg timer, and an iron. It is a big old wash machine. Guys can You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> it's really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again. And they take away your flamethrower and fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> Um, excuse me, is this going to take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Darn. You know what, they look like the ghost, the little ghost guy. So we need to find a way to become the ghost. We need that guy's sheet. And then we can probably get Cletus's clothes. That's what I'm thinking. Is there anything else? Is there anything else in that toilet? Put your hand down there. What am I supposed to do? A fishing expedition? In there? Yeah, Ugh. go for it. He didn't even flush. What am I supposed to do? Fish. Ugh. He didn't even flush. So we got to flush it and then go in it? Holy junk! The there must be a leak somewhere. Well, we know that's the leaky pipe. And the leaky pipe's outside the ghost window. But before we do that, we got to go see. Man, there's so many things intertwined right now. Bozo, I got you some clothes, buddy. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But well, for a real pirate. You, a pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh. It was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on. Crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely going to sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Okay, so we, we have to get him to catch that somehow. So the pillowcase is for, it's full of headlights. We have extra toothpaste for something. We need to put something in that guy's hood. Maybe we'll put the pillowcase in his hood because it's got headlights. Infesting him with lice would be funny, but unfortunately, he's missing an important prerequisite. Yeah, the hair? Oh, 
What's in Bozo's bag? Let's see what Bozo carries around. Because he's just took a shower. Underwear? A three-person tent? No, no, wait. That's even more underwear. But, hey, what's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? <gasps> There's a handwritten label on the bottle. My dearest honey bear. <laughs> honey bear. <laughs> I've packed some of my special homemade shampoo for you. It contains the secret ingredient that gives you such a glorious full head of hair. So take good care of it. After all, your baby brother had to do without his breakfast for it. Ugh. What? That is gross. Okay. So Bozo uses miracle grow on his head. Not a single hair in the hood, but where else? Hmm. Where are we going to get hair from? Let's go back in there. Let's try put everything in that stupid bird's mouth. Okay, we're missing something. What is it we're missing? I think we've practically clicked everything here. We got the pie, we turned the heater off, Bozo's ready to put clothes on. Once he's got a belly full of whipping cough. Um, nothing in any of those places. I think we have to go back to the laundry place. There's got to be something here. Freaking coat hanger, are you kidding? These things are extremely well suited for digging bits of banana out of high voltage outlets. Okay, I don't think we're going to find bits of banana. Maybe we can fish out whatever's in the toilet with the coat hanger. Okay, okay, I get it. I just carry around, can't remember when I left. Maybe we can... What else is there's we can't go upstairs because the little robot guy's up there. He stops us going up. So they going Fishing out The Pelican's mouth. There. Time for a break, herring breath. Perfect. <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain. Now give me give me the fish. Uh, slimy. doesn't look all that bad to me and I'm sure the smell will go away when it's cooked. Oh that is look gross. All that bad, and I'm sure okay if we go stick that in the bald guy's hood he's going to stink. Bloop. That's got to be it. Huh. Neither of them has hair but one of them has flaky scales. Here's a fish knife on the on the fish. Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. Ah, maybe it goes on the pie. Okay, maybe I've got it all wrong. It consists entirely of fermenting gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Everyone said I'd get flaky skin if I didn't wash. Now this fish spends its whole life in the water, and yet... Okay. Drop the flaky scales in there. Flaky dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. Okay, we got it. It took us about 40 minutes, but we went click happy on everything. We got it. Mr. Sear. Uh, Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have it. Pals are clogging up. Oh yeah, your pals are clogging up the laundry room. Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah. What are they waiting for then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. Okay, uh, what are you doing here again? What are you doing again? I am preparing. The world doesn't. 
You look just fine. And then he does his old hood flick. And he's going to think he's got dandruff. Is that? Oh, I have dandruff. There you this go. A catastrophe. Then I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the break market. Don't just stand there. Do something. Here's some shampoo. Shampoo? My salvation. Out with you. I have to shower. Right, and now the ghost's going to pair of on him showering. Let me in. <laughs> the ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. All right, let's get out out the window then. And now we can deal with the leaky pipe, right? Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. So, corkscrew. That would just make everything worse. And that, after all, is something I could never condone. Wow! Freshly washed! I don't see a difference. Uh, use the toothpaste on it? Because it's like cement? I don't want to mark the site with foam. That was already stupid in a new beginning. Hmm. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Hooga hooga hoo shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Hooga hooga hoo shallali. Hooga 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 shallala. Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Yoink. Can't get at it that way. What are we going to do with Mr. Toffee, really? Mr. Toffee. Weird name for. Hope it's not connected. Can we put Mr. Toffee in the pipe? The cork could be the right size to seal the hole. I just have to get it off the jar. Aha, this is where the corkscrew comes in. Hey, I could really use a cork like this. You be a good boy and stay in there, Mr. Toffee, okay? Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh dear. Free Toffee. He's gone. But the leak's fixed. You're not getting your drink anymore. Oh, he's so angry. And... We're good. Let's ruin his day now. The ghost is... I will... He does say he won't bother him now, which probably means we have to come back. Locked, Chuh, paranoid twit. Right, let's go flush that toilet. There's got to be something in in that toilet that we can grab. Huh? What's going on? A damsel in distress? Oh no, have we. We screwed things up. Did all that go into the seer's room? What am I supposed to do? A fishing expedition? In there? You know, this is where I draw the... Oh, wait a minute. That is a toilet freshener. Oh man, who'd throw something that cool into a toilet bowl? Sweet. So we did get something. And it's blue. I should get rid of this quickly. My lining is already pretty blue. There you go, it's blue, so we'll put it on the pie. We'll get a blue pie. Oh wait, it needs artificial colouring! Food must please the eye. That has to be it. He's going to cough, he's going to get a fever and he's going to have blue tongue. I know his seer must have, that must have been him that was screaming. Oh crap, look at him. And now we can put the, the head lace on him. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. Uh, you're beyond help. Yeah. As are we all. And that brings us 
to phase three of my ingenious plan. I call it poetic injustice. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a... What are you doing? I am prepared. The world does... I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. No, he's going to get nits. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yuck. What is that? Oh, my scalp itches. I have rice. Good thing I have this new miracle shampoo. And now, off with you. I have to shower. Again? Okay, back into the dark room. Where's it goes gone? The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 shala, ooga, 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 shala, What are we supposed to do with that? Obviously the sheep. There was a really funny joke here in the original German version. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. Anything else? Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? Okay, so we've got quite a few items. We really need that guy's robes. I wonder if we can just go back in and swap them. Oh, we can. Yes, we can. Arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Shut up. We heard your song. On the surface, there's almost no difference between these textiles, but the expert can spot deviations in the symbols on their tags. Obviously an ancient hieroglyphic script. So switch them then. He left his robe lying here. He probably wants room service to take it to the laundry. Don't know what else he wants me to do. I don't know why we need that sheet. But I think we're going to leave it there. We're going to give old Bozo his pie. We'll get his clothes on. We've done quite a lot in this episode. It took. I've been recording for like an hour and a half. Holy crap, Bozo. This better be your pie, I swear what to God. Got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. I'm sick with hunger. You know, blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Looks like whooping pox. You should have put on your clothes, like I told you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With some pie in my stomach, things will look completely different. Well, can I have the pie now? Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. What? How's it not ready? We gotta get something... What are we missing? It's a fitted sheet, but probably due to the worn. Hmm. I should stop scamming my way to the top of Doobie. <laughs> That's been my New Year's resolution. Right, we're definitely going to leave it there because it's going to be a lot of clicking to find out what's what. We can obviously go down into the basement and put that that uh, sheet on to get down to the washing machine, I'm guessing. But until next time, thanks very much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I know we didn't really get anywhere, but it's it's building. It's all building up, all the pieces have fallen into place. And in the next episode, we're going to cause some chaos. And maybe old Bozo will get his clothes and a pie. So thanks, until next time, take good, take good, take care, be good, and be safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.